Hello and welcome to Real Numbers video number 9. Today we are going to find out how do we prove that when we have a rational number and we either add or subtract an irrational number from it that the resultant number is going to be an irrational number. So let's find out how we can actually prove or solve these types of questions. So let's take an example. So let's write a rational number. So let's say 2 and let's say we say plus square root 3 and we want to prove that this is a irrational number. So we are going to use the method of contradiction like the way we did it in the previous video. So we are going to assume that let us say this is a rational number. We are going to assume the opposite and prove our assumption is wrong. So let's say 2 plus square root 3 I have randomly written one rational number and one irrational number. So let's say this number is a rational number. Then we can write this in the form of a by b where both a, b are integers and they don't have any common factor and b is not equal to 0. Right? Now what we do is we will try to separate out square root 3. So we will say square root 3 is equal to we will get the 2 on the other side of the equality sign. So we will get a by b minus 2 and we are going to simplify this so we will get b and this will be a minus 2b. Now a is an integer, b is an integer. So a minus 2b will be some sort of an integer, right? So what we are going to get here is we will have an integer in the numerator, integer divided by another integer. And we know that b is not equal to 0, right? So what we have is square root 3 is equal to integer by integer. Now keep in mind the numerator can be a 0, right? We don't know the value, but we do know that both square root 3 is equal to some integer by integer. But we know any integer by integer where the denominator is not equal to 0 is what? Well, that is a rational number. In other words, what we have is square root 3 is a rational number. But we know for a fact that square root 3 is not a rational number and that will mean our initial assumption was incorrect. Our assumption that 2 plus square root 3 is a rational number, that assumption is incorrect and hence we say that 2 plus square root 3 is actually an irrational number. So this is how we prove these type of questions. Now keep in mind it could have been the other way around. We could have taken an irrational number first and a rational number later. So let's maybe take one more example. So let's say this time we have maybe square root 5 minus maybe let's say say 3 over maybe uh, let's say 7 right so here we have an irrational number and here subtracted by minus sign and we have a rational number a rational number doesn't have to be just an integer right so now again using the method of contradiction what we are going to assume is let's say this is actually a rational number and it can be written in the form of a by b where a b are integers b not equal to 0 and they are co-prime in the sense they basically do not have any common factors, right? So what we are going to do is again, we are going to isolate the square root term on the left hand side all by itself and get everything on the other side of the equality sign. So in this case, we will have square root 5 over here will be equal to 3, I should say a by b plus 3 by 7 in this case. And now if we simplify here, we will get 7b and this will be 7a plus 3b. Let, let me make sure I did it correctly. So this LCM will be 7b and then it will be 7a plus 3b. Yeah. Now, so what we have here is that square root 5 is equal to, now a, b are integers. So in the numerator, we have an integer, integer. And then in the denominator, we have an integer, which is 7b. So if we have an integer numerator and denominator, we have an integer. And because b is not equal to 0, so 7b is not equal to 0, that means what we have here is we have a rational number. So square root 5 is a rational number, which we know is incorrect. Now here, keep in mind, whenever you are proving these type of questions, 
meaning a combination of real number and an irrational number and trying to prove that together is a rational number, you don't have to prove that square root 5 itself is an irrational number. You can assume that square root 5 is an irrational number in this example. And in the previous example, that square root 2 or square root 3 is an irrational number. So here we have square root 5 is rational, but we know square root 5 is an irrational number. And hence, our assumption is wrong. Our assumption that square root 5 minus 3 over 7 is rational number or is irrational, that assumption is wrong, proving the fact that this is indeed an irrational number. Now, if the question were to simply ask you, prove square root 5 or square root 7 or square root 11, if these numbers themselves are irrational, right, then you must use the way we solved the previous video where we proved square root 2 is an irrational number. That is how you have to prove. I'm going to provide that video link here for your easy reference. But this is how we solve these type of questions.